This is Friday, December 30th, 2016. We are at the Willows in Westboro, and this tape is part of the Morse Institute Library's continuing Veterans Oral History Project. My name is Maureen Sullivan. And we are privileged to have with us today Raymond Ellis. Welcome, Raymond. Hi. May I ask when you were born? When was I born? Yes. November 27th, 1923. And where were you born? Brooklyn, New York. Do you currently live here at the Willows? Oh, we just moved in about two weeks ago. Two years. Two years ago. <laughs> your marital status? Huh? Uh, your marital status? Yes, it's nice. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Married, yes. Okay. Do you have children? Four. Do yep. you have grandchildren? Yeah, eight. Eight. And yeah. do you have great grandchildren? Four. Four? Okay. Tell us a bit about growing up in Brooklyn. Like, uh, for example, what did your father do for a living? Well, my father and I, before he, he opened taxi cab business. And I understand you live with your aunt and uncle? I live with them in Brooklyn. Okay. And you have three brothers? Three brothers. And sorry to hear this, that your mother died when you were quite young. My mother, I was six or seven mm -hmm. when my mother died. So what was uh, growing up in Brooklyn like? Did you go to school? I went to school in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you uh, do any part-time work? Odd jobs? Uh, odd jobs. Okay. No. And uh, you did graduate from high school. Yes. I understand, though, that you didn't quite know that you were going to graduate. I didn't. I wasn't sure about it, no. So you were actually in the audience. Well, I, w I went to watch it and I found out. <laughs> <laughs> While you were attending school, were you made aware of events happening in Europe and Asia at the time, uh, such as the Nazis or Hirohito? Well, just so I read in the papers, we didn't get too much information about it. Do you remember when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor? Oh, yes, yes. I heard it on the TV and radio. And Raymond, where and when did you enter the military? Uh, I joined the Marine Corps in 1943 or something like 43. 44. And why the Marine Corps? Huh? Why the Marines? Because uh, my buddy liked the Marines, so I went with him. <laughs> well, it makes sense. Uh, some folks go for the uniform, some go with their buddies. Did anyone else join the service when you did, besides your buddy? Uh, I guess a lot, of, a lot of people did. I don't remember offhand who they were, but. Mm -hmm. Now, before joining the Marine Corps, uh, do you remember uh, home life during World War II? Was there, uh, do you remember rationing? Remember what? Rationing, like gas rationing. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Sugar rationing. Oh, yeah. Scrap drives. Yeah, it was hard to get gas for a while. Uh -huh. yeah. Where were you sent for basic training? Uh, Paris Island, South Carolina. And what was that like? What was it like? What was it like? Well, it was completely different for us because we never did anything like that before. Was this the first time you were away from New York City? I, I guess so, yes. Okay. 
Uh, what is there anything you remember in particular about BASIC? Not no, only that it was all new to us and it was hard because we never did it before. And how long were you in BASIC? I guess three months, I guess. Did you receive any uh, other training beyond BASIC? Oh, then I went to aviation ma machinist made school. And what did you learn there? How to take care of an airplane. Did you want to do that, or did the Marine Corps decide, hmm, he might be good for machinist mate? Uh, did, did, did you cho choose to become a machinist mate? Did I? Um, uh, did you want to become uh, involved in airplane repair? Well, I, I, I guess I did, yes, okay. at that time. And where were you sent? Uh, Cherry Point, <coughs> Cherry Point, North Carolina. And tell us more about the, uh, the training. You, you said that you learned how to repair airplanes. Oh, we had a military drilling, mm -hmm. firing rifles and marching and mm -hmm. that kind. What kind of planes were you trained to repair? Uh, uh, Grumman Hellcats. Can you tell us a little more about the Hellcat? Uh, was it long range, mid range? It was a very stable weather planet. That's mm -hmm. Did you ever get to ride in one? No. No? No. They were all, all pilot only. Mm -hmm. Now, Raymond, uh, when you were mentioning re learning how to repair, was it everything in the plane, like the engines? About anything on the plane. Anything yes. on the plane, okay. And how long were you at Cherry Point? Well, about six months. Okay. So now we're talking, uh, we're now into 1944, thereabouts? Uh, I guess it was 1944. Okay. And what happened after Cherry Point? Where were you sent next? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okinawa. Directly to Okinawa, or did you uh, did you stop at Camp Pendleton first? No, we go to Camp Pendleton. Okay. But it, during that time you were in training, did you know you were going to be sent to the Pacific? I guess I say yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And while you were in training. Uh, did they kind of tell you about what to expect once you're out there? No. They didn't tell us what to expect. Okay. We just, well, we saw in the news and I didn't know what, mm -hmm. we, what it was going to be like. Mm -hmm. uh, were you given uh, equipment, like clothing, for when you were going to go to uh, the Pacific? Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Well, tell us. Everything. Okay. Tell us a little more about the clothing. What you were what you were given to go to the Pacific? Were you given fatigues? Uh, well, I gave us complete uniform. Mm -hmm. Everything. Now, did you go to the Pacific by boat? Yes. Okay. And how do you remember how long it took you to get to where you wanted to go? <laughs> I, 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 no, I think I don't think. 
think about it. Uh, did, did you get seasick or you, were you pretty much okay? <laughs> huh? Do you remember anything about the trip? Nothing, nothing really. Okay. And where did you land? <laughs> uh, I guess Anjibi, Anjibi, E A G B I E. And do you remember where that is? In the Marshall Islands. Marshall Islands. And tell us about stepping into this island on the Marshall Islands. Was it hot? Was it humid? Oh, it was hot and humid. Okay. Were you assigned to a unit? I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we were assigned to a squadron. A squadron. And do you remember the exact squadron? VMF and 533. Okay. You're on the Marshall Islands. You've been assigned a squadron. A what? You've been, you've been assigned to a squadron. Yeah. Did you start uh, working on airplanes immediately? Oh, they assigned us to okay. the planes. Mm -hmm. F6, F5Ns. And tell us what life on the Marshall Islands was like. Hot. 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 <laughs> and you were repairing airplanes. Huh? You were taking care of airplanes. Yeah. Okay, the Hellcats. Hellcats. Okay. And did you ever get any time off, like recreation? Oh, yeah, we had time off, yeah. Okay. And what did you do when you had time off? <laughs> Hung around, did nothing. <laughs> All right. Play cards? <laughs> play cards. Play cards a lot. <laughs> uh, okay. Did you listen to the radio or had a record player? Not especially. Mm -hmm. No, uh, any USO shows, nothing? Well, I had radios, but we didn't. Okay. We didn't get attached to them so much. How did you uh, get news of the war? Did you hear it on the radio, or was it basically scuttlebutt? Oh, well, first we heard first thing about the war was I heard on the radio. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in the service yet. Oh man, uh, while you were on the Marshall Islands, how did you keep uh, a, a pace with the war news? Did you read on a newspaper or radio? R radio, mostly. Okay. Did you ever get letters from home? About what? Did you ever get letters from home? Did you write home? Oh, we wrote letters quite often. Okay. And how long were you stationed on this particular island? Like several months. Okay. And who took care of the commander's plane? You took care of the commander's plane? Yeah. And what was your commander like? Uh, he was sort of tough. A lot of people didn't care much for him because he wanted to do everything right. Well, Marines are often like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Was there any uh, particular story about your commander? Is there anything you remember about him besides being tough? No, that's, that's all I can remember about him. Okay. So where was your next stop after this island? Okinawa uh, and... Uh, and we talked first. Okay. And then uh, Okinawa, Aishima. Okay. Let's talk about We Talk, is it? Anna We Talk. Anna We Talk. Anna We Talk, because I spent quite a few months. Mm -hmm. And do you remember how to spell that? How to spell it? Yes. I guess so. E N. Mm hmm. 
W E T O K. And is that north of where you were stationed? Were you kind of island hopping? I know we talk was, was I guess the most southern place. Okay. And then we went to Okinawa after that. I was a little further north. Okay. And what was Anna We Talk like? Hot. Hot. Very <laughs> hot. While you were on duty and assembling plates, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you wore and what you ate? Uh, were you still in fatigues or? We wore uh, uh, at least the amount of clothes we could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> you have shorts? Shorts. Do you have shorts? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what did you get to eat? Uh, did you uh, see rations or were you given regular meals? I guess we got regular meals most of the time. Okay. During the times you were on the islands, uh, were you still uh, given regular training in the rifle? Not especially. No. Okay. So you were just t still taking care of planes. Yeah. And you were on uh, in a we talk for several months. Right. And now we get to Okinawa. <laughs> yeah. Were you part of the initial invasion or afterward? Was I? Uh, were you part of the of uh, the initial invasion oh. of Okinawa? Uh, no, I guess we'll come in after. Okay. Now, I understand that you got to see part of the bombing of Okinawa. I don't know if we saw, we actually saw it or not. We heard, heard about it, or mm -hmm. I don't think we saw it. The commander's plane. Did you huh? see your commander's plane dropping bombs? Um, you could see some of the... I know he dropped any bombs or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> You saw him fighting, though, up in the sky? Huh? Did you see his plane, the fighting going on up in the sky? Oh, we could. A couple of times we saw a plane being shot down mm -hmm. by one of our planes. Do you remember if you had been told anything beforehand about Okinawa? No. We weren't, okay. we weren't told anything about it. Mm -hmm. Did you actually land on Okinawa? Uh, I guess we did. We must have. Okay. And tell us a little bit about being on Okinawa. Well, Okinawa had more of a seasonal climate. Mm -hmm. Like we saw, and we talked first, that was just hot. Do you remember hearing stories about Okinawa, uh, about uh, the resistance? No, we no. didn't hear it. No. Do you remember what part of Okinawa you were stationed at? I was, we were stationed on the southern part. Did you hear about uh, the civilians? About what? about the civilians on that island and how they were treated by the Japanese? No. No. And how long were you at Okinawa? I guess altogether being overseas mm -hmm. was 18 months. 18 months. But that included NGB and, and Awitak. Mm -hmm. Now, Raymond, the general feeling at that time was that you guys were going to be invading Japan. Is that correct? 
it was coming that you were that uh, the Allies were going to be invading Japan, which is why you were no, heading up. We didn't. No, we didn't. Really? Mm. We didn't always think, it, think anything about it. Okay. Did you hear anything about uh, Franklin Roosevelt dying? You remember that? I don't remember. Uh, how about when the atomic bomb was dropped? Did he die before, after the war? Uh, he died right before. Uh, Franklin uh, died in April of 1945. So he died at the beginning of the war. Yeah. No, you, you, were still, you were still in the Pacific. Yeah. And the atomic bomb was dropped on, in August of 45. Mm -hmm. Now, did you hear anything about that? Just what we saw in the newspapers. Okay. And what did you think about that? at the time. Did you think, hey, the war is going to be over? <laughs> no, we didn't. We thought it was just part of the war. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, the end of the war was declared. Uh, do you remember what you were doing when you heard that Japan was going to surrender? I think I was, uh, I'm not sure. I thought I was discharged by that time. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. And where and when were you discharged? Oh, in New York City, I guess I was discharged from the service. And do you remember when? Were you discharged in 45? I don't remember. Okay. And what rank were you at the time of your discharge? Sergeant. You were a sergeant. And Raymond, uh, did you receive any medals or commendations? Just the uh, war medals, that's all. Okay. Nothing. Did you join any veterans organizations after the war? Sorry, what? Did you join any veterans groups like VFW? Uh, I, I did belong to them. I wasn't very active with them. Okay. And what did you do after the war? I went back to work. And where did you work? On the railroad. Ooh. <laughs> what, uh, what job did you have with the railroads? Uh, conductor. Oh, conductor. cool. Was it um, passenger? Passenger trains. And how long were you on as a conductor? How long? 30 years? Mm -hmm. I guess about 30 years. Okay. So you traded one uniform for another? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> And I understand you lived on Long Island for Long, Long almost 60 years. Long Island Railroad. Wow. And I understand uh, you had a brother who also served in World War II. The what? You had a brother who also served? My brother was in the service. He was in the Navy. Uh-huh. And you remember, uh, first of all, what was his name? His name? Yeah. Robert. Robert. Do you, you remember anything about what he did? No, not really. Uh, was uh, was did he serve on a particular ship or? It was. He uh, was on board. He worked on ships a lot. What? Uh, did he have a particular duty? I don't. I don't like know. was he uh, like a stevedore or was uh, did he work on building ships? Or was he serving on board ships? He was serving on board. Okay. Now you have four children, right? Four. Yeah. Okay. Did any of them uh, serve in the military? No. Yes, Larry. Huh? Larry. Larry did. Larry, he was. Oh, he went to uh, Larry went to machine Air Force. school. Air Force. Huh? Air Force. Larry Air Force. Was Air Force. 
Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, yeah. Lieutenant <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> She'll know that. <laughs> How many years did he retire? I can't remember. I think. He retired from the Air Force. Larry retired from the Air Force. Do you remember Retired. how many years? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how many hey, years. Uh, he, he wasn't until long. 20? Is it 20? How many years was he in the... He wasn't until long. 20 years. That was his career. Larry was in 20 years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least. Okay. Well, we know your one of your sons served as an Air Force officer for at least 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how about any of your grandchildren? Did they, have they served in the military? No, not when we was in the military. Mm -hmm. EJ, we, we where, where is EJ? EJ? We weren't married. We weren't married when I was in the military. No, no, no. We're talking about grandchildren. Any of your grandchildren in the military? Oh, oh. Where is EJ? Germany. Mm -hmm. Germany. Where's EJ? He's in Germany right now. He's in the he's in the army. <laughs> he I didn't even know that. <laughs> he was in the he was in Dubai, right? Mm -hmm. And now he's in Germany. Uh huh. Now, Raymond, have you ever attended uh, reunions with uh, any Marine reunions, any squadron reunions? Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I did? Oh, yes. The fighter squadron reunions. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. The main knife I've been in touch yeah. with all of them, even your commander. Mom was saying what a good time you'd have with the commander and his oh. wife. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a commander. Your commander. Oh, my brother. Yeah. You see him at the reunions. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just for the record, what was your commander's name? Mar Marion M. McGruder. Okay. Do you have any um, other experiences that you can remember when you were in the Marine Corps? Not, not especially, no. Okay. Uh, how important was it for you to serve in the military? I guess it was important, mm -hmm. yeah. Raymond, is there anything else before we wrap this up? I was a plane captain on a commander's plane. You were a what? A plane captain. Uh -huh. I was just a... Yep. Mm -hmm. A title. Okay. Raymond, is there anything else? Not that I can think about it. Okay. Except we're all glad to get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Raymond Ellis, uh, we thank you so much for taking part in the Native okay. Veterans Oral History Project. Okay. Thank you.